Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. We will get to the Harris Scramble Racing video here shortly, but first I wanted to bring some awareness to two of our local District 14 riders, Talon Sinkson and Tyler Vore. Both of these riders have qualified for the international six-day enduro that takes place in Italy later this summer. Um, ways you can support them, man. There's, there's fundraisers going on. They're selling uh, t-shirt campaigns. I'm going to drop uh, information to how you can purchase one of those shirts, direct links uh, to do that in my video description. Also, they're, they're holding riding schools. This is an amazing opportunity to, ride, to learn from some of the best riders in the world here. So my sons had the opportunity to go to these riding schools in the past and took away just an incredible amount of knowledge from these two guys. So uh, please take advantage of that if you if you're able to. And these guys are these guys are amazing riders, both uh, returning gold medal winners from the international six day enduro. So let's let's support our local riders from Michigan. Make this journey a little bit easier on them by by buying some shirts and uh, and going to those riding schools if you're able to. So uh, with that, we will jump into hair scramble racing. And if you have any questions on, on dates or, or need information, just hit me up. I'd be happy to get it get what I can over to you. Thank you. Hey, welcome back, folks. We're riding along with Deck Andershek today, 35 plus C in the District 14 Hair Scramble Series Round 3. We are at Dutch Sport Park. We're the only place you find more clouds on the ground than you do in the sky. It was incredibly dusty here today. Uh, dry, dry conditions. Uh, we got row 12 going off here. And then we'll get into 35 plus C race. Hope you enjoy. I know Deck, he's probably not real pleased with that start. A little slow off the line, but a uh, big class, a lot of riders, and he's probably in the top third here off the line. So I think uh, looking at timing, scoring 30 riders at 35 plus C today, um, I think that's probably the smallest that cl this class has been through the first three rounds. Um, close to Closer to 40 or even over 40 in the first two rounds. So sport is alive and well. along with deck because my ribs are still healing up probably could have ridden today but I didn't want to push things um, especially with conditions the way they were 90 degrees my first race back dust storm just didn't sound like a lot of fun to be honest but um, he's in the thick of it here trying to make uh, make some moves in this bottleneck um, that we routinely see in this this division um, start a little bit further back and then going into some tight stuff here Apparently, you're going to run into that, but I plan on being back for the next hair scramble at Valley here in two weeks. So, um, looking forward to that one. Looking forward to getting back on the bike and uh, getting back at it.
crew here at Dutch put a lot of water on this track the night before, the day before, even the day, even the morning of this race, and still you can see it's just insane amount of dust, just really dry conditions, almost a, almost a drought in the area here. But um, you know, it's a stark contrast to the last couple of races, hair scramble races here at Dutch anyway, where it's been extremely wet and muddy conditions. Um, Sprint Enduro we ran here last summer, I think, was similar to this, kind of dry, dusty, but I don't think it was anything as bad as what it was today. on a KTM 150 XCW. Great for these uh, these tight conditions. A nice little nimble bike. I always uh, give him a hard time when I'm racing with him out there because his bike's so quiet I can't hear him coming up on me so when we're racing back and forth I, don't, I'll, I won't think there's anybody behind me sometimes and there's Dex sticking his nose underneath me inside of a turn where I leave the door open. Go up here. many miles we had here today I'm, I'm thinking somewhere around six I know that the a.m. session was a four mile course and I believe they had cut out some of this uh, this off camber stuff around the creek back here in the back section of the woods and the, the little bikes did not run so probably added at least another mile or, or two back here in this back section
Not your row. Calling out, there's your man. That's my son's uh, Team C riding partner, Jake Ballman, getting by there. They start the row behind uh, 35 plus C class in row 14, uh, the Team C riders. So that's uh, as Jake went through, I believe he led lap one, and they kind of went back and forth for the first half of the race, kind of flip flopping laps and, and battling for that lead, and then. Um, probably lap five, six, somewhere in there. Uh, they, they dropped back to second, finished about, I don't know, somewhere around a minute out of first, I think, on the day. So uh, three second place finishes uh, on the year in, in Tim, Team C for, for Braden and Jake. So have, having a good year, still looking for that elusive first victory, though. They're going to be working hard for that one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
unfortunately there was a bit of a breeze today that was clearing out some of this dust. I mean, if it would have been calmer conditions, there would have been some real bad sections in here. But I mean, even this, it's just so hard to be aggressive because you have so many blind moments not knowing um, you know, what's coming up in front of you. Is there a turn? Is there a rider down? Who knows? So it's uh, scary out there at times. So as we're coming near the end of the video here, uh, just a reminder, man, if, uh, if you're able to, please support Talon Singson and Tyler Boer as they uh, represent the United States um, in the International Six Day Enduro later this summer. Uh, it's going to be in Italy this year, so I'm going to drop some links to their t-shirts uh, that you can purchase uh, to support them. The money goes directly to them to support that, that venture. Uh, local guys from our district. Um, always always great guys willing to help out the the youth in this sport uh, they do some training camps and riding schools so if you see those opportunities out there take advantage of that these guys are awesome riders and they're willing to share their wealth of knowledge so please check out the links in the in the and below the video here uh like i said to, to buy their t-shirts and support them as they represent usa Thanks for watching, guys.